All right, in this video I'm going to be tying up a Connecticut River Shad Fly. This is a pattern found in C. Boyd Pfeiffer's book, Shad Fishing, and I can't seem to find it online, so I'm going to give it a shot. The original recipe calls for uh, a size 2 or 4 hook in a 2x or 3x length. That seems a little long to me, so I'm just going to tie this fly up on a, on a standard length size 4 hook, so in the vise I have a size 4 um, Mustad 34007. I'm going to be tying this with a 6 aught Black Uni. Go ahead and lay down the thread base. And we want to take the thread Snip our tag here, and then we want to take our thread down halfway down the bend. All right, the next material is a gold tensil. Take a couple strands of that and fold it in half around your thread and just capture that about halfway down the bend. We can then advance our thread back up uh, just about to the eye. Leave about an eye's length uh, distance between your thread and the eye. And actually before I start my wraps I'm just going to hit the shank and thread with a little bit of Sally Hansen's here just to help Strengthen the fly. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and wrap my gold tinsel back up. Back up the shank and capture it near the eye. Something about like that. And then capture that tinsel or flash with your thread and then snip your excess. And again, I'm just going to hit it with a little more Sally Hansen's just to protect those wraps. The mylar is fairly delicate. All right, for the wing, the pattern calls for uh, a duck quill or flight feather, which I think is either a quill or a pointer. I don't have any duck right now, so I'm just going to resort to using some turkey. So I've got some turkey and orange, and I'm just going to cut out a section. Um, I'd have to do this off camera and show you about the size. about that much and we're going to tie it in short so you don't even need that entire length but I'd say about that much width or height on the wing and you want two pieces of that because you, you basically want a section of wing on either side of the hook shank so I'm going to take and line up my tips Line up my tips and then I'm going to place a section of that feather on either side of the shank. Now I essentially just want to pinch wrap 
and while lifting, kind of lifting the wing, just pull that thread straight down just to capture your wing. And that's pretty good. It's it calls for a short wing. A short but full wing, I think, is its exact description. That looks pretty good. I'm going to give a couple more wraps forward. And then I'm going to snip off the excess wing here. Go ahead and advance our thread forward and cover that remaining wing material. And then just build up ahead. about right there. Go ahead and whip finish. And then just touch your thread wraps with little Sally Hansons to protect those and give kind of a glossy head. Try not to touch the feather. And I would say that's a pretty decent version of the Connecticut River Shad Fly listed in C. Boyd Pfeiffer's book, Shad Fishing. Give it a shot.